Motion capture, it's something you often hear about in the movies. Now, NTU scientists have developed a new motion capture system that can be used to aid doctors and physiotherapists. The technology uses machine learning to track and analyze human motion more quickly and accurately. For more, we're joined by Associate Professor Ang Wei Tech. He is the Executive Director of the Rehabilitation Research Institute of Singapore. Uh, Prof Ang, uh, this technology, if I understand it correctly, aims to analyse the movements of patients who have mobility-limiting conditions and then, of course, enhance the treatment for them. Uh, it's not new. It's been around for many years in some form or another. So how does this precise macular system differ? Good evening. So um, maybe I can start by telling you more about uh, how existing motion capture system work. So the existing motion capture system usually use several infrared cameras to track the reflective markers placed on the body of a person. For each marker, as long as there are two or more IR cameras can see it, we can triangulate to determine the 3D position of the marker. And when most of the markers placed on the body can be tracked simultaneously, we can reconstruct the human body movement. But however, uh, marker-based mo mocap has never been adopted in clinical settings because number one, its cost is very high. It's about 300,000 for a system and it's labor-intensive workflow. Pre-motion capture, you need about 45 minutes to put on the markers by trained personnel. And post-capture, you need at least one man hour of post-processing time per minute of data collected. The key novelty here of our work is that we are able to track the movement of human body using normal video cameras without the need of putting markers on the body. The technology breakthrough here is the precise tracking of human anatomical landmarks by our novel machine learning algorithm, which was trained from about 8 million images of human movement. So now with our markerless mocap system, there is no marker placement time, and it takes only 10 minutes of auto-processing for one minute of uh, measurement. And we can achieve the same accuracy at about 10% of the cost. With all these things, we are making this technology visible to be used in clinical setting. I understand what you're saying about the cost element and the time element, certainly important, but isn't the primary aim of this game accuracy in characterizing any abnormal movement? Um, I know that you capture the movement of some 150 people in developing this technology. Um, how is that more accurate than markers that are customized to each individual? Well, we can achieve the same accuracy as a marker-based system but without the need of putting on markers. So, so that, that makes this technology to be visible, to be used in a, in a clinical setting. Now, just beyond the, the, the uses of rehabilitation, um, physiotherapists and doctors included, uh, what are some of the other areas, the other potential areas that you see this technology uh, really being used in? Well, the primary focus is still in healthcare, but uh, the same technology, we can adopt it uh, to be used in entertainment industry to capture human movement for animation and also in sports science for performance of uh, performance analysis of uh, athletes. Uh, potentially, we can analyze the in-match performance of looking you every stroke, every smash. Now, I know cost and time was one of the, the, the pain points that you were trying to overcome in this. Was there other, another motivation for your team to uh, come up with this invention? In, in fact, in fact the, mo the, uh, the most important motivation for us is to able to, pro to perform precise clinical movement assessments. Depending on what type of illness or injury, Clinical movement assessments typically require the patient to perform some standard movement like 10-meter walk tests. Uh, then the therapist will make their clinical judgment based on what they observe. So you can imagine that the outcome is highly dependent on the subjective judgment of the clinician, and it will be very difficult to make precise judgment on complex movements. i give you an, an example. A person has knee problem. To make up for the loss in range of motion in the knee, the person walks with excessive hip rotation. And after some time, it causes back pain. So when he goes to see the doctor or the therapist for back pain, it would not be easy for the therapist to track the root cause back to the knee. So with such a mocap system in the clinical workflow, which is non-existent right now, we allow the clinician to have more precise movement assessment to identify the right problem to treat. So that's the main motivation that we're trying to solve.
All right, Associate Professor Ang Wei Tech from the Rehabilitation Research Institute of Singapore at NTU, thank you for sharing your invention with us.